Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about top 10 undiscovered treasures in the world. 10. The Lost Treasure of the Egyptian Pharaohs When Howard Carter discovered Tutankhamun's tomb in the Valley of the Kings, the archaeologist was amazed by the splendor of the artifacts that accompanied the young pharaoh to the other side. A huge treasure trove was found near the burial chamber, and it took Carter 10 years to finish cataloging the artifacts. However, when other burial chambers of more prominent pharaohs were discovered in the 19th century, the treasure chambers were almost empty. Tomb robbers have been known to steal these treasures over the centuries, but it's hard to believe that mere thieves emptied entire tombs altogether. And then we are left to wonder where is the vast wealth of the pharaohs buried in the Valley of the Kings? Some scholars believe that the wealth passed into the ownership of the priests who conducted the reburials in the Valley of the Kings between 425 to 343 BC. One name in particular stands out, namely Herihor, a high court official during the reign of Ramses XI. 9. The Treasure of Montezuma The Spanish decimation of the Aztec Empire in Mexico took place in 1520. After the mortal wounding of Emperor Montezuma, Hernando Cortes and his men were besieged by Aztec warriors in the capital Tenochtitlan. After long days of fierce fighting, Cortes ordered his men to take Montezuma's great treasure and leave with it during the night, but they didn't get far and the Aztecs caught up with him. The carnage that took place is said to have filled Lake Tezcuco with the bodies of the Spaniards and Montezuma's riches. The terrified army threw away the treasure in an attempt to escape with their lives, the treasure consisted of numerous gold and silver ornaments, along with a vast array of jewelry. Cortes and a handful of his men escaped with their lives and returned a year later to seek revenge. When the inhabitants of Tenochtitlan learned of the approaching invaders, they buried the remains of the city's treasure in and around Lake Tezcuco. 8. The Enormous Treasure of King Dispel of Dacia The existence of King Dispel's treasure is one of the most fascinating enigmas of Romanian history. It stems from claims by the Roman historian Dio Cassius that the Roman conquest of Dacia also revealed Dispel's treasures, which were hidden under the Sargassia River near his capital. The Roman historian says that Dispel lowered the river with the help of prisoners and dug a pit there. He put in it a huge amount of silver and gold and other very precious things, and then he brought the river back to its bed. Also with the help of prisoners, he put garments and other less precious things in the caves. But Basilis, a companion of his who knew the secret, was taken prisoner and revealed all of this. Romanian historian Nicola Iorga also writes that the Dacian monarch in the last mountain shelter after hiding in caves some of the treasures he had long gathered had the last meal with his last companions. 7. The Ark of God For the Israelites, the Ark of God was one of the most sacred things in the world. The disappearance of the Ark of the Law has captivated countless scholars around the world. Since there is no mention of its destruction, people have always sought to unravel this great mystery. The Ark has served as a holy archive for the preservation of sacred relics including the two tablets of the Ten Commandments. Historically and religiously, the Ark and its contents are priceless. In 607 BC, the Babylonians conquered Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, and the site of the Ark in Solomon's Temple. More than a million people died in the slaughter. Seven years later, when the Israelites returned to the city, the Ark was gone. What happened to it is one of the most speculated upon topics even today. Styx, the treasure of the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar was a religious order formed in 1119 to protect Christian pilgrims on their forays into the Middle East. Over time, the Knights Templar received numerous donations, making them a very powerful military and religious order. They even invented a medieval form of a bank offering loans with interest. The Knights Templar declined and in 1307, King Philip VI of France arrested the order's leaders and decided to confiscate their wealth. However, the envoys found little in the order's treasury. Legend has it that the other Templars hid the treasure in many parts of Europe. 5. Captain Kidd's Loot William Kidd was a Scottish sailor, originally a pirate hunter. Theoretically, he was supposed to stop piracy, but he did exactly the opposite, tempted by pirate gold. After amassing quite a fortune, he was arrested on his return from the Indian Ocean in 1699. Kidd was tried and executed in 1701. But what has never been discovered is the fortune that should have proved his deeds, only one of his catches was discovered on Gardner's Island in New York, and the treasure was sent to England to be used as evidence of his guilt at his trial. The idea that he had other secret places to hide his loot has never been proven. The hope that these places still exist sends men searching for them, armed with shovels. 4. The Blackbeard Pirate's Treasure While we're on the subject of pirates, we'll also bring up the story of the famous pirate Blackbeard. Edward Teach, also known as Blackbeard, spent only two years, 1716 to 1718, plundering the seas and ships that came his way. 
Although the time was short, it was enough to amass a huge treasure. While the Spanish were busy grabbing gold and silver from Mexico and South America, Blackbeard and his comrades waited patiently, then pounced on the treasure-laden ships, plundering the Spaniards as they returned home. Blackbeard soon became the most feared pirate, earning a reputation as a cruel and greedy opportunist. He ruled by terror over the West Indies and the Atlantic coast of North America, with headquarters in both the Bahamas and North Carolina. He met his end in November 1718, when British Lieutenant Robert Maynard beheaded him and hung his head on his ship as a trophy. Blackbeard admitted to his executioners that he had hidden his treasure, but did not reveal where. This has led countless treasure hunters to search for it to this day. Blackbeard's sunken ship, Queen Anne's Revenge, is believed to have been discovered in 1996 near Beaufort, North Carolina, but the cargo was not on board. 3. The Amber Room Many consider it the eighth wonder of the world. Made of amber slabs, polished with gold leaf, it was created by German and Russian craftsmen in the early 18th century and presented by Prussian King Friedrich Wilhelm I to his Russian ally, Tsar Peter the Great in 1716 as a symbol of friendship following exemplary diplomatic relations between the two countries. This amber chamber was intended for the safekeeping of valuables, so it functioned as a very valuable vault in itself. It was designed by Andreas Schoiler and built in the Charlottenburg Palace in Prussia between 1701 and 1709. The impressive chamber, which would now be worth more than $200 million, disappeared without trace during the Second World War and has been one of the most hunted treasures ever since. 2. The Fortune of Dutch Schultz Dutch Schultz, born Arthur Flegenheimer, was a New York mobster in the 1920s and 1930s. Over the course of his criminal career, he amassed a huge fortune from his business dealings. The government continually tried to catch him for his crimes but without any success. Eventually, the authorities had to use the same charge as for Al Capone, tax evasion. Schultz, knowing he was going to prison, figured he would need some pocket change when he got out. He took $7 million in cash and buried it in a hidden location in upstate New York. Aside from Schultz, only two of his bodyguards knew the location. Unfortunately, both were shot before he arrived at the prison and Schultz died shortly afterward of an infection. Although there is no evidence that the mobster revealed the location before his death, some people say the fortune may be hidden in a forest in Phoenicia Park. 1. Treasures of Lima In 1920s Peru, Lima was on the verge of revolt. As a precaution, the city's viceroy decided to move the riches to Mexico for safekeeping. So precious stones, two life-size gold statues of the Virgin Mary with the Christ Child, and more filled 11 ships, worth tens of millions of dollars. The viceroy gave command of the transport to the master William Thompson of the Gear Mary, who turned out to be a ruthless pirate. He steered the ships to Cocos Islands in the Indian Ocean, where he is said to have buried the treasure. The Gear Mary was captured by the Spanish and all the sailors except Thompson and his mate were hanged. The two led the jailers to the Cocos Islands, where they managed to escape into the jungle. Neither they nor the treasure was ever seen again. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you can go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.